<laughs> this is Karen. She lives here now. I do. This is Tom. I live here too. We're going to walk through the house and tell you what we think. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Where are we going? This is the front hall. We put a table and a lamp there, which is fine, and everything is movable. Um, entry hall here, we just put stuff as is, but again, just kind of giving you a lay of the land. We're next then. Yeah. So what are you thinking here? Um, I think we need a bigger dining room table because the chandelier is bigger than the table. And um, I'd like some storage in here because we have this one very cool um, shelf, but we have a lot of stuff now thanks to some very generous wedding guests. And it would be nice to have a little bit more storage out in the dining room for all that. But we love the windows and the light. And we have put nothing on the walls because apparently a lot of this, especially the exterior ones, are the um, whatever kind of plaster one should not uh, put stuff into if one does not know what one is doing. And then some people, I guess, have put hooks or something on the molding to allow for movable options too. I don't know if that makes sense. We just have a bench here. I don't know if I love, this is a wine cooler, I don't know if I love this here. We could move it to the basement and have this be a little more Attractive. picturesque than utilitarian. Yep. Your bar cart is there. Um, yep. Kitchen. Kitchen is, other than not having much in a decorating range, um, we've got most stuff put away, and I think we have pretty adequate storage in the kitchen for kitchen stuff. We just don't have storage in the kitchen for serving bowls and that sort of stuff, which is what we need in the dining room. The kitchen's in pretty good shape, I think. Okay. Then? Done. Or probably we're gonna guess first. Okay. Just grab the light. Yep. So there's a powder room here. There's nothing in it, decoration wise. Everything is sort of a light bluish green. I think it's called sea foam or something based on the cans in the basement. So Actually, I think the wall color is pretty, but it um, is different than the old house. <laughs> so, this is the den. And in here, we've put basically just the couch and a TV. And it's a great place for hanging out. We love having the couch in here. Um, Lots no, of this is the couch ends. that you uh, ordered for us in the Denver house. We've got these built ins. We're not totally sure the orientation that makes sense here. You could keep, I think we do want a TV in here. Um, and it doesn't even have to be this one, but. It could either be here, or I guess you could argue you could put it there, which gives you a line of sight into the kitchen that, that I'm sure, I don't know if that matters actually. And then this is sort of a random opening. This is the, sort of slanted in there because the staircase runs up above that. And they left some shelving, but it's a little funky. So we can see what makes sense with that. And back to the entry hall. There's your oil can lids. Yeah, we love those which, and would love them someplace uh, prominent. Yep. Um, I don't know if they fit in the entryway or if they'd be good in the living room or the dining room or what, but we really like them. Some metal railing stuff that looks pretty good. Right. 
top plug fixture, which is what the builder put in, which I think also looks pretty good. Then we go to the living room. So in the living room, we used the two leather chairs from the den, and then my couch, um, which I guess was upstairs, but that was after you were there. Um, some of the pillows from the couch that was in the front sort of mix things together a little bit. Um, and this is the same rug that was in the front room before. Um, and the main ottoman and uh, white tray that you had. Yep, and we like those. There's a lot of... Um, There's the dinosaur photo that you put. Love. And then lots of um, knickknacks that we just have sitting along the window right now, which is obviously not a good place for them. Um, but uh, that's where they are for now. It's just going to look dark. There we go. So this is just like random crap that we've picked on, picked up over travels. And most of it actually has a reasonable amount of personal meaning, so it would be good to display, if not all of it, then a decent subset. It's a tray, a metal tray. Um, but we obviously don't, we also don't want it to be like knick-knack hell. Hellless, yeah. Uh, that's that folding wooden sort of Indian type thing that was in the basement, folding, whatever it's called, partition. Screen. Then we put a bunch of crap back here, which is just more of the um, sort of, well, it's a mix of sort of like knickknacks and then um, some storage stuff, which obviously will go away. And then we have a slew. We went through and called our pictures, got rid of the things <clears throat> that we were tired of, including the marathon poster that was in my bathroom that made you nearly vomit every time you looked at it. <laughs> I didn't like that one either. I did. <laughs> Uh, we'll tell you the story about the clown when you're here. You'll remember this African thing, or maybe from the house. And then we have temporarily put, oh, what are you going to say? Oh, more here? I was just say the fireplace. Oh, right. So the fireplace is non-working, and I suspect that we won't, it's mainly not working because the chimney apparently is, collapsed in or something like that. So I actually think we're not gonna do a wood burning fireplace, but put in a gas line and just have a gas fireplace. So that'll be the plan for that. And then here we have various tchotchkes all up here. And then we put on this wall, just the current big screen TV. Again, not sure what we're gonna do with it, I think we probably do want a TV in this room somehow, but we don't really want it to be the focus. Yeah, it's sort of a, I think we'd use this room more with a TV in it, although I'd probably prefer no TV. Um, I think just practically speaking, we'll actually use the house more if we put the TV, a TV here. And then we just randomly put this table, which was out in the front over here, just because we had stuff there. That's obviously not a great spot for that table, but. Um, We're not totally so sure. We obviously have it organized to where it's one central seating area because that's all we could think of. <laughs> um, but it, I don't know if it makes sense to divide it. It's obviously a very long room, a lot longer than it is wide. And then it's a little funky with the fireplace and the door. Fireplace is not totally centered. You see that? Or, no, I guess it, well, it's kind of centered, but everything, there's nothing like super symmetric that suggests where things should go, but this is why you're coming here. <laughs> Upstairs. So this is directly over the den, so the same dimensions as the den, same and it's a sort of mid, um, 
landing. And you go back here to the back stairway that takes you down to the kitchen again. And then that door there is leading into the biggest guest bedroom, which we'll take you there in a sec. But this landing has a couple of built-ins. And then the stairs we just came up and then sort of this landing that wraps around that hallway goes off to the washer dryer, a separate bathroom, and then a smaller guest room. And then that door over there is to the master. So it's sort of a central point. And I think what we'd like to do in the staging of the house, which you might remember from the video that the realtor had, they had just a desk up here, which was very cool. The issue is that both of us are going to need home office, a home office setup. And it may, we've alternately talked about a desk that um, would be long enough for two people and then some sort of cabinetry or something that would enable us to put away all the crap that comes with that and just have it be a little cleaner. You could imagine it would just be a desk, something maybe decorative, and then a computer monitor. And that would, we would try to make it no more cluttered than that. That's one option. The other option is if it's just not going to fit, you could argue, I don't know, maybe a desk for one person and a sitting something or other, because it would be nice to have this as sort of a landing spot for reading or working. Yeah, and um, this couch, the blue and white couch that was in the living room, I love. Um, I know this is not a great spot for it, but you weren't quite sure where else to put it. Um, but I really love that piece. I would actually... I don't know if there's any way to have it in the bedroom or where else in the house to put it, but it's just sort of sitting here for now. And these chairs we could take or leave. Yeah. Um, back bedroom? Yeah, back bedroom. Okay. Um, this has pretty good lights. This has sconces kind of all around. They're kind of cool, and they even come up on this landing. There's one right there. I think it would make a really nice workspace with those, or work and reading space, or or whatever. It's just a nice, cozy upstairs nook. Yep. This is the uh, biggest guest room, and we've got uh, the old bedroom. Uh, well, the bed, I guess. In here, chair in that sort of corner over there. Um, and then this piece, which had the TV in it downstairs, um, it's a little broken, but we like how it looks, so we brought it. But it's, um, it's a little unstable and a little broken right now. So it's nice. There's, there's pretty much exception of a few things like that blue and white couch there's not a ton that we're totally wedded to so if it ends up making sense to change things out we're pretty open to that and this chair and ottoman over here match the couch downstairs yep. um, and I know that bookcase looks really silly right there but <laughs> and then the bathroom here. guest bathroom that light. I realize that we need to wash the towels. So I'll just subway tile. And then we actually decided it wasn't really good. We we have towel hooks or towel rings to put up there. We're actually not gonna do a towel rack here because there's no clear place for it that doesn't just look cluttered. But I actually don't think it's necessary. And do hooks in the back of anywhere. Yeah. Good. Okay. And if, uh, if there's stuff you're not seeing clearly enough in this video, just let me know and we'll uh, reshoot whatever you need. That's the back stairs that goes back down to the kitchen. So straight ahead is a door to the outside side of the house, and then the door to the left is to the garage. And then the opening to the right just takes you into the kitchen. So then 
uh, these are the, sta the stairway up to the attic. This is currently really underused and it's a huge freaking part of our floor plan. So we'd like to figure out some use for it. Um, so that the usable price for, per square foot isn't like crazy high in this house. Um, so it's one window there. And then it's just sort of a wide open floor plan. Really Closet and then a door, the, the lit doors into the bathroom. We'll go in there in a second. And then there's a sort of dormer that's kind of built out. No windows, that's AC back there. So everything can be very comfortable. It can be a very usable space, even in the summer. We hope it'll get hotter in the next couple months and we'll test it. But they have two AC units here. And then what we've done is we put one of the dressers, my grandmother's old dressers, so that's kind of cool. And then one of the spare beds we had, another one of my grandmother's dressers. Then we have that sectional that was down in the uh, basement along with that low wood um, coffee table. And then there's a leaning uh, bookcase right there. So right now we've just actually thrown some our workout gear up here. We could, we haven't set it up, but we could even set up our bike trainers, which we use with some frequency. Um, I'll just show you the bathroom real quick. The bathroom's already pretty nice. There's not a ton more to do. More of that subway tile. And then just vanity I can put up. You can kind of see what makes sense, but I can put up. Uh, fixtures as needed and a nice mirror. So I think for this, for this area, one thought I'd add, so it's currently a guest bedroom and we want to maintain that functionality if we have a full house and it's sort of a nice upstairs space for families. So like if Ben and Andrew and the kids come, this is where we would throw them. Um, but another option is if the downstairs landing only has room for one desk, this potentially could be another work area. We could put a desk up here. I, I think it'd be fine. Um, oh, there's the light fixtures up there, which are kind of cool. Um, so that's a possibility. You know, I think over time, we'll show you the second guest bedroom, which is currently being used as Karen's office. But I think we want to think about this sort of in stages. So the thought would be that here's what we would do with it currently and then if and when kids come around and with that things like au pairs or nannies or stuff this could obviously very much be that and we would just have to think through how to reconfigure for that we'd also want to think through how to reconfigure the current home office we may not want to use that anymore as a home office because karen starts her actual work next month and won't be using it as much so does that turn into a guest room eventually is it a nursery you know, some of these considerations are what we're trying to think through. And we could always sort of say, let's design it for the two of us now. Um, apparently, you get a nine month head up, heads up if a baby's about to arrive. Almost so we 10 can. 10 months, really. Yeah, you even get 10 months. <laughs> so we, uh, we have time to adapt if we need to, but it might be worth keeping something like that in the back of our mind. So laundry room, utility room, just sort of a closet with decent shelving. So I think we're pretty squared away on that. <clears throat> this is a separate <clears throat> second guest bedroom bathroom. More of a subway tile and tile. All the bathrooms are pretty much styled the same. Same kind of green, sea foam, whatever it's called. <laughs> um, so it all looks good. And then this is the Second guest, well, second, third, depends on how you count it. This is the smallest of the guest rooms. And currently is Karen's home office. But like we said, we'll change out. She's basically just stacked a bunch of crap right now. 
on bookcases on either side, simply yeah. utilitarian. We've got a lot of our picture frames and bookshelves and just so that's the stuff old in here. cabinet that was in the front room, uh, which we both like. And then, yeah, just kind of stacked crap in here for a while. Um, but again, unclear the best use of this both currently and down the road, but we could imagine this being multi-purpose over the years. And it's got lovely great windows. views too. We can creep on our next door neighbors and their dog is right there. <laughs> and he's lovely. All right, so now off to the master wing. Where's that white fixture? It's just super cool. Um, all right, so here's the master. Uh, obviously, if you haven't already noticed, we have zero window treatments because <laughs> we're just waiting. It's actually, it's not terrible it for the light. Been. It hasn't been a big deal, but we certainly want your advice about the best window treatment to put in here. Um, you know, a little cutaway, two full-size closets on either side of that. Then it's just a big, long room. This is directly over the living room, so it's the same dimension. So it's nice and big. And we got a new bed. So we have a California King bed with no headboard. Right, so let's look at the bed. So here's the bed. Um, this is austere chic. This is the <laughs> style, in case you didn't know. And then we just sort of stacked up brick brack again, stuff that might be recognizable from the Denver house. Just various things. You know, a lot of candlesticks, stuff like that. Again, not super wedded to any of it. Some of it's actually getting a little falling down a little bit. These are the two chairs that we had set up in our um, master, which we really liked. They just ended up being good seating area. We'd like to try and replicate that. We had the two chairs just in front of the uh, fireplace in the upper master. There's nothing in here. No, in the it's dresser. Empty. So we don't actually need to keep this. It's just sort of here because it has a light on it now. And a bad light at that. <laughs> um, but we don't actually need this storage because we have the closet and the other closets. Um, so we weren't sure where the best place for a little seating area was. Probably not right at the end of the bed. Probably more. Yeah, you almost wonder if you want like sort of a formed seating area, right kind there. of like a kind of like you would have in the living room where you have, I guess, the thing to do is the little areas areas within a room that sort of invite sitting or hanging out or whatever. I don't know, that's what you do, you tell me. <laughs> and then, uh, it's a pass-through closet. Um, it's sort of one of these closet designers put everything together. I'm not totally sure it works great, but we actually have the contact for that woman. It's all sort of modular and configurable. So, it might be worth Giving that a couple of minutes of thought to see if there's something that's even more optimal. It's not, it's not the greatest space for Karen because she's got a ton of stuff. I don't know about much stuff. You have a ton of stuff. <laughs> it works fine. And then we have a sort of a blank wall here. We put a full length mirror for dressing and a little somewhere to sit, which is kind of nice. So it may be worth Getting that a little more professional. And then here's the master bath, painted on tile or pattern, standalone tub, which is cool. We ended up buying a standalone towel rack, which I think made the most sense for the configuration of the room. Um, and again, so there's the shower. They bought, or the builders put in this sort of permanent, it's permanently attached, so immovable, um, but which is fine because it's nice. And then toilet there, and then we have our two sinks, which work pretty well. But it's a little austere as well, a little antiseptic. Mm -hmm. 
little 1950s hospital. So that is it. Is that everything? I think so. All right. So let us know if you need mm -hmm. more info. We'll see you soon.